Hey friends, welcome back to Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia and I'm one of the second grade teachers at the Soulard School, but here for Teaching in Room 9, all of my lessons focus on math for second graders. Welcome back friends, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here with me. I'm really glad that I get the chance to be here with you and I hope that you're having a really great week so far. All right, so we're always um, starting our lessons with our mindful minute activity. And since we are working on um, shapes all week long, I felt like it was a perfect way for us to warm up our bodies, recenter our body and our mind and our hearts, really take a moment to be present and slow down and um, do our uh, shapes yoga as a way for us to go ahead and get started with our lesson. So you started by doing downward facing dog was I am a triangle since you created that triangle shape with your body. Then we went into I am a rectangle standing firm in a rect or in plank pose to create a rectangle shape with your body, keeping your back nice and flat. Then we went into I am a square in a tabletop position on your hands and knees. We practice breathing in out and really um, dropping our belly low like a, a cow and then raising our back high like a cat. And then uh, we also did I am a circle and we did child's pose where we kind of really created a, a ball with our body and took time to take some deep breaths. Today, friends, we are doing a star pose. So we're going to do it two different ways. All right, friends, so stand up with me nice and straight and tall. And you are going to spread your legs out wide. We're going to take a deep breath in through our nose. And you're going to stretch your body out like a star. Are you ready? Breathe in. And out. And bring your arms back down as you exhale. Breathe in, make a star with your body. And out. One more time, breathe in. Make a star with your body and breathe out. Nicely done, friends. Another way that you could do a star pose with your body is you can lay in corpse pose, or sometimes it's called resting pose as well, where you just lay flat on your back. Go ahead and do that now. So you're just gonna lay nice and flat, your arms out or up to your side. Your feet are just laying out nice and flat. And you take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. Keep breathing in through your nose and exhale. One more time, breathe in and exhale. When I'm in the, uh, this resting pose, I like to imagine that my belly button is like on a string and I'm trying to just pull it all the way down to really get those deep breaths in. You can really feel your chest rise and fall as you take those deep breaths in and out. Whenever you're ready, you can come back to a sitting position. Nicely done, friends. Hopefully you're feeling calm, centered, and ready to learn here together. So you guys know that we have been focusing on this learning goal all week. I can understand shapes and their attributes. So we've been working with 2D shapes and 3D shapes and understanding their attributes. Attributes just means like their characteristics. What makes a shape a 2D shape or a 3D shape? What makes a triangle a triangle and a cone a cone? So talking about those differences between um, 3D shapes, 2D shapes, talking about their faces, edges, vertices, all of those different things and what makes each shape that shape. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and review this geometry vocabulary anchor chart, and then we will do our uh, mirrors on so that we can practice this as well. So right here, this is a 2D shape. A 2D shape is flat, not fat. 
And a 2D shape has sides. Those are the straight lines. So they're line segments that make an outline of a shape. So this shape here has four sides. Then those sides come together to make the vertices, the pointy corners. And within each vertex, you get an angle. And an angle, so it's inside of the vertex, and a right angle like these here are 90 degrees. So 90 degrees. And then lastly, we also have parallel sides. These are two sides that are opposite of each other. So these two here are parallel and these two here are parallel. And they keep going on and on and they do not intersect or cross. Then if we're focusing on our uh, 3D shape, then we also have um, these edges. Edges are the straight lines, and they come together to make vertices, the pointy corners. So you have the vertices in both 2D and 3D shapes. Here they are just sides. On 3D shapes, they are called edges. And then 3D shapes also have faces. Those are the flat sides. And then lastly, they also have a base. That is the bottom face. So the flat side that um, is on the bottom for the 3D shape in order for it to be able to stand up. All right, friends, are you ready? We're gonna do our mirrors on so that we can practice this as well. And remember, we switched up our mirrors on just a little bit in order for us to switch it to our 3D shapes. Are you ready? And just reminding my friends again, when I say mirrors on, you're going to repeat everything I say and do until I say, mirrors off. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it, friends. Mirrors on. 3D shapes, also called solid shapes. 3D shapes have faces. Those are the flat sides. They also have faces. Those are the bottom faces. They have vertices, the pointy corners. They also have edges. Those are the straight lines. Mirrors off. Nicely done, friends. You are amazing. So we know 3D shapes are also called solid shapes. They have faces. Those are the flat sides. They also have bases. Those are the bottom faces. And they have vertices, and those are the pointy corners. And then lastly, they also have edges. Those are the straight lines. Nicely done, friends. And then we focused on some of these different oops, examples of um, our solid shapes, our 3D shapes. Are you guys ready? We're gonna do our 3D shapes chant in order for us to remember some of these different shapes. All right, ready? So you're gonna repeat after me again, friends. 3D shapes are fat, not flat. A cone is like a party hat. A sphere is like a bouncy ball. A prism is a building tall. A cylinder is a can of pop. A cube is like the dice you drop. 3D shapes are here and there. 3D shapes are everywhere. Nicely done, friends. That was amazing. So again, we're going to review and I'll show you some examples of these. So 
Our first one here is a sphere. A sphere is like a bouncy ball. So we know that a sphere has zero faces. There are no flat sides in a sphere. And because there are no faces, there are also no edges. Those are the straight lines. Since there are no faces, edges, there's also no vertices. So when I hear zero faces, zero edges, zero vertices, I know right away we're either dealing with um, a sphere or like the cylinder is also round as well. That one does have two flat faces, um, but if I hear zero edges, zero vertices, I immediately think in my head, okay, sphere or cylinder, it is something that is round, right? We don't really have a lot of those straight lines. And a sphere obviously rolls for sure. A cone is like a party hat. So here's our little cone here. This is what it looks like. It has one face and the face is the base. <laughs> it is what it stands on. It's the only flat side here. And that is its one face. It has zero edges or straight lines and it has one vertices, that pointy corner right up at the top here. And it does roll because it's got that round shape. Next is our cube. A cube is like the dice you drop. A cube has six faces, flat sides. So you can count them one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then that base there. It has 12 edges. There are lots of little straight lines and pointy corners. There are eight vertices in a cube. And it does not roll because it does not have a round shape. Six faces, 12 edges, eight vertices, and it doesn't roll. Next on up in our shape, 3D shapes, solid shapes, we have a square pyramid. A square pyramid is just exactly like it sounds. It is a pyramid shape here. It has five faces, five flat sides. It has eight edges. It has five vertices and it does not roll. It does not have that round shape. Okay, so square pyramid, five faces, eight edges, five vertices, and it doesn't roll. Next, a cylinder is a can of pop which again is another word for soda. We usually call it soda here. So here's our cylinder. It has two faces, flat sides on the top and the bottom. It has zero edges and zero vertices. So again, those are our round shapes. So similar to a sphere, but it does have two of those fat, <laughs> flat faces, top and bottom there. And it does roll because it is a round shape. Next up, a prism is a building tall. So here is, this is called a rectangular prism. It doesn't matter if it is laying on its side or if it's standing up and down. It is basically a rectangle, but it is fat, not flat. So it has six faces, flat sides. It has 12 edges. It has eight vertices, the pointy corners and it does not roll because it doesn't have a round shape. And then last but not least, we have this bottom one here is triangular prism. Triangular prism. I think of this one as like a tent. Okay, and you can see the triangle shape, so maybe that helps you to remember. Triangular prism. It has five faces, nine edges, six vertices, and it does not roll. Because again, it doesn't have that round shape. The only ones that really roll are the cone, the cylinder, and the sphere. All these other ones here do not have that round shape. Very nicely done, friends. You are absolutely amazing. So we're gonna do some more um, where I show you real life, um, real life shapes, and we get to decide what they are which shape they are. All right, are you ready? 
The first one I have up here, friends, is a Rubik's Cube. So perfectly solved here. I can never seem to solve them. <laughs> Which shape do you think that this is here, friends? And another way, too, that I kind of like to look at it is I kind of... All right, and I look around and I try to see which one does it match the most. What do you think? Yeah, if you said A cube, you are absolutely right. A cube is like the dice you drop. It's just that same shape here as well. Six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Next up, this should be an easy one for you. Okay, what shape is this? Do you see it up here on our chart? Yeah, if you said it a square pyramid, you are absolutely correct. That is a pyramid. So that would go here with our square pyramid. Easy peasy lemon squeezy on that one. All right, next up is a beautiful ornament. Ornament, what shape is an ornament? What do you think? If you said a sphere, you're absolutely correct. Nicely done. Okay, next up, we have this TP. What shape would a TP be? TP be. <laughs> what do you think, friends? Is it a triangular prism? No, not quite. It would be if it was more like a tent. But this one here has that flat square bottom and comes together at the top. So this would be an example of a square pyramid. If you said square pyramid, you're absolutely correct. Nicely done. All right, next up is this beautifully wrapped crescent. What shape is this present? Let's see, what do you think? Definitely not a sphere or a cylinder or round ones. Doesn't look like a cone or a pyramid. <gasps> I think I heard a friend say rectangular prism. If you said that, you are correct. It is a rectangle shape there, a rectangular prism. All right, next up. What shape is this delicious looking orange? What do you think, friends? What shape is an orange? Yes, if you said sphere, you're absolutely correct. A sphere, any of those round bowl shapes, those are all spheres. And spheres, zero faces, zero edges, zero vertices. And they definitely roll, right? So now this one, I thought that this was like brie cheese, but maybe it's like a cheesecake, I'm not really sure. But either way, this cheese, will say cheese. What shape is it? What do you think? It's not a cone. It's not a pyramid. What do we think? If you said triangular prism, you're absolutely correct. Nicely done. Five faces, nine edges, six vertices. Next up is this toy block. What shape would this little block be with the number four on it? <laughs> if you said a cube, you are absolutely correct. A cube is like the dice you drop. Okay, so think just square box, square box. And then rectangular prism would be like these rectangle types of uh, boxes. All right, next up is this popcorn in the container that it is found in. I don't really see popcorn in these containers too often, but we're gonna go with it. What do you think? What shape is it? Does it match any of these ones up here? Yes, if you said a cone, you're absolutely correct. A cone, it looks like an ice cream cone, right? So it is a cone, I just covered up the name. Next is, I know all of my friends at home have seen this before, what is this? Yeah, it's a battery, exactly right. All right, what shape is a battery? 
So I know right away in my brain, I think, okay, it's, it's pretty round. So it's gotta be one of our two round shapes here or two, I guess this one has um, round as well, but it's definitely not a cone because it doesn't have that pointy vertices at the top or vertex at the top. What do you think, friends? Yes, if you said cylinder, you are correct. Last one, my dears. What shape is this? If you said a cone, you are exactly correct. This is like a parking cone or a cone that you might see in a parking lot, but it literally is in the name, right? Ice cream cone, this is a cone, and they help to like block off areas in like a parking lot. Nicely done. You can see all of these amazing examples of 3D shapes that we can see in real life. I would like now to quiz my friends and see how well you remember some of these shapes. So I'm gonna hold up a 3D shape. You're gonna tell me what shape it is. Are you ready? Shout it out nice and loud, okay? What shape is this? I heard friends say it's a triangular prism. Nailed it, amazing. What shape is this? Yes, if you shout it out, cylinder, you're absolutely correct. A cylinder is a can of pop or soda. Nicely done. Okay, next. What shape is this? Yes, if you shout it out, cone, you're absolutely correct. Next, what shape is this? Yes, it is a cube. A cube is like the dice you drop. And it looks like an ice cube. All right, three more. Which one is this? Yes, if you said a square pyramid, you are absolutely correct. Okay, next. What shape is this? If you said a sphere, you are absolutely correct. Nicely done. Last one, what shape is this? If you said rectangular prism, you're absolutely correct. Nicely done, friends. You're getting so good at this. All right, so you just did amazing taking real life images and kind of sorting them into what 3D shape it would be. And then I gave you a little pop quiz and you did amazing in being able to recognize all of these different 3D shapes. Now, I'd like to ask my friends some shape riddles and see if you can guess which shape it is. Okay, I have eight edges. Those are the straight lines. 12 vertices, the pointy corners, and six faces. Those are the flat sides. What am I? Eight edges, 12 vertices, six faces. Any ideas? Yes, if you said rectangular prism, you got it. Nice job, friends. This is our rectangular prism here. Six faces, 12 edges, eight vertices, and it doesn't roll. Right next, I have zero edges. Okay, so now my brain is already going. Okay, I think it might be one of those round shapes. Okay, let's keep going. I have zero edges. I have one vertex, a pointy corner, and I have one face. That is the flat side. Which shape has zero edges, so no straight lines, one vertex or pointy corner and one face one flat side so kind of try to imagine it in your brain which one do you think it is 
If you said the cone, you are absolutely correct. So I think it's a little easier to try to decide when I know right away zero edges. So I've got no straight lines. So then that already cuts that um, all of these shapes like in half, right? It's got to either be sphere, cylinder, or the cone. And then once I hear that it has one vertices, that gets rid of these two here. These two do not have any um, pointy edges. This one has a pointy edge at the top. The cone is like a party hat. Nicely done, friends. Okay, I think I have one more for you. All right, I have 12 edges. Those are the straight lines. I have eight vertices, the pointy corners. And I have six equal faces. What am I? Six faces, the flat sides. Eight vertices, pointy corners, and 12 edges. Those are the straight lines. Okay, which one is it, friends? Yeah, so this one's a little tricky. If you said cube, you are exactly right. So the tricky thing about it is the rectangular prism also has 12 edges, eight vertices, and six faces. But the reason why it's a cube, you had to be really listening, is it said six equal faces. And all of these faces are equal and the exact same in the cube, whereas in the rectangular prism, some are shorter and some are longer. Nicely done. I can tell you are really paying attention with your whole body. You are amazing friends. All right, so again, I wanna review some of the things that you can do to practice shapes at home. So if you want to use Play-Doh or some type of clay, you can build your own shapes. You can build 2D shapes or 3D shapes. You can also practice drawing shapes as well. 3D shapes are a little trickier to draw than 2D shapes, but you can practice drawing them with pencil and paper. You could use your finger and draw them in the air. You can draw them in shaving cream or sand or salt. You can get a stick and draw them in the dirt. You can use sidewalk chalk to decorate um, the outside of your house area with amazing, beautiful shapes. You can also use toothpicks and marshmallows to practice building shapes. They can lay flat on the ground and be a 2D shape, or they can even stand up. You can build 3D shapes using marshmallows and toothpicks is a great way to build. You can also practice making shapes with your body like we did with our shape yoga. And I also encourage all my friends to go on a walk, either around your house or outside as well, and see how many shapes you can find. Can you find 2D shapes? Can you find 3D shapes? And I know that as soon as you start looking, you'll see shapes everywhere. They're literally everywhere in the world around us. Thank you so much for all of your hard work, friends. You are amazing and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you later, bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.